Uh, I, as much as I already indicated, uh, I indicated the news about executions in the Kosovo committed by Kosovo Roma people. Uh, and I am here to explain exactly how this went on, how these executions have taken place, who did this, entire thing, so that you get to understand the nature of the Serbian killings in Kosovo, who did, who was behind it, partially something I have already mentioned uh, tonight on the blog, under this post here, I have somewhat already described about what went on, and I am just going to make sure I give you right now immediately the first-hand statement witnessing about uh, Serbian executions of Kosovo Albanians uh, beginning 1977, well two years something uh, prior to Josip Broz Tito is dead. Yeah? Uh, that's one topic I will discuss and then the second topic I will discuss uh, will be about uh, killings, uh, uh, actually theft of internal organs in a Kosovo, uh, something that became a topic that became again activated just lately, this week, a few days ago, uh, Vladimir Putin uh, claims uh, Russians have nothing to do with it, Moscow claims uh, that Ukrainian prisoners which are returned uh, corpses basically that were returned to Ukraine, Ukrainian corpses uh, has got nothing to do with the Russians and if you Google you're gonna see all over the place it's Ukrainians in fact those according to the media very very often you see uh, who go into a theft of human organs uh, it's they are and them whom Russians blame. And so these are two topics I want to discuss about. Uh, however, they're going to be related to straight to the Kosovo. Mm, Kosovo is this place here where you see the Pristina. I am from Slovenia and all this used to be Yugoslavia, uh, including, yeah, that's a Macedonia and that's a Montenegro. Uh, Bosnia right here in the middle where the Sarajevo, Sarajevo is says. Uh, the thing is that Josip Broz Tito uh, transported me to all the Roma communities throughout the Yugoslavia. He had me meet uh, Roma communities in, in uh, everywhere, in, in, uh, in Bosnia, in Croatia, in, but especially in Serbia and even more so, especially, especially in uh, what was considered as a part of the Serbia also, the autonomous region known as Kosovo. Yeah, this was back in the day, uh, a part of Serbia, like Vojvodina. Uh, it was autonomous on the paper, uh, just like a Vojvodina, and uh, populated mostly with the uh, Kosovo Albanians, uh, however, Serbs uh, reserved the right for Kosovo to remain uh, part of the Serbia and to ensure that they would remain as a part of the Serbia. Uh, Kosovo Serbs, just as I have indicated on my website tonight, uh, committed a lot, a lot of mass killings. We are talking about not killings of an individuals only, but they would go and they would just kill basically whew, families. They would go and they would commit mass killings. They would target, especially they would target like isolated farms, destinations that were convenient, that were of their convenience, of their importance to establish to enlarge their community and so on uh, by literally hiring uh, a Roma uh, hitman, Roma kill for hire, 
uh, individuals. Not all the Romans were like this. But, yeah, in the biggest settlements of the Roma, most of the Roma were like this. It was not difficult to find Roma killers within big Roma settlements in Kosovo. That was like pretty much every second Roma individual. The only thing a Roma boss had to do, who was doing this job for the Serbs, for the Serbian military, it was the Serbian military that compensated him. It was the Serbs that loaded him with the money. They gave him the money. The only thing he had to do is, is basically pick up the individuals that would fit best to murder agenda on Kosovo uh, because so that the locals, the Kosovo people would not identify uh, you know, Roma people. It was constant fear that the Roma had in Kosovo that it would be, they already complained about that they did too much job, uh, that they already identified them and they cannot go and so on, or at least not yet and so on, and they had to look for other Roma, even in other communities and so on. Yes, this is the way it was. Uh, and have them do the job locally, uh, and preferably they would do the job remotely. If there was a Roma from one part of the Kosovo, or they would travel to Macedonia even to kill. Even to Macedonia they would travel. And wherever they would have settlement from other part of the region, they would travel to another part of the region and so on. So the main thing was to not be recognized, not be identified. The first thing they would do and it's why Serbia, Serbs use them. They will make a contact with, uh, with the victims. So the victims could see them, spot them, but not recognize them. Once the news would spread within this Kosovo Albanian community that it's a Roma in the area, this and that, and so on, and they threaten and this and that. It most often would be Serbs. You're talking about the military, you're talking about the soldiers that would take civilian uniforms and would together with the Roma, they would use Roma to approach uh, in totally in a military way. I witnessed this stuff uh, to these uh, locations uh, and then it would be the killing, simple as this. And what they would do is they would, I don't know how much Roma were uh, wishes to, to go out there and kill, I don't know about this, but they were used to to take upon themselves this curse, the Serbs definitely would go and would massacre entire families, family after family. Uh, and so, uh, what you refer to as deaths of some kind, uh, disputes between the Roma and Kosovo Albanians and so on, those are actually hardcore ethnic killings, massacres caused by the Serbs paid in for, compensated by the Serbs, by the Milosevic, by Aleksandar Vucic, and by another individual who provided this. Aleksandar Vucic, listen, was a trainee of Milosevic. This man is not innocent. This man knows absolutely about everything I am talking about. This man took upon himself absolutely every curse Serbia committed. Since he's age 18, then go and figure out. And I don't believe one if he says he did not participate in killings. If he tells me face to face that he was not involved in killings, I don't believe one. Because I witnessed to what this guy was when it comes to washing money and this kind of issues. A trainee of Sheshel. Uh, this guy was encircled with the people like Karadzic, Aradic and so on. I have no fucking reason to individual like this to believe anything at all, he would have to say. Um, mm. 
Milan Kuchan was the one thanks to whom Milosevic uh, was leaving a trail of blood wherever I was moving around. He, Milan Kuchan was the one who with the Slovenian police, this is God knows what else went on with this stuff, um, provided me to the Serbs in have successfully so, possibly even successfully so, now motivated Albanians into belief that uh, a Roma community left uh, or did not leave, but in a big numbers, I understand they left Kosovo to um, you know avoid being uh, uh, killed, uh, massacred, as what Serbs insisted, uh, literally to the to the Roma community, they, they, they told them that if they, they are going to stay in Kosovo, once the Kosovo becomes independent, they are going to kill you, absolutely, they're going to kill you all, uh, and used me in a process uh, to suggest Roma people that it's better for them to leave Kosovo. Uh, And there you have it, basically. All the traces about the stuff I have spoken to you about, even blaming me in a process for a Roma community living in uh, Kosovo area in a process, I was blamed. I had to take responsibility upon myself, they demanded from me, that I was the one who scared them, that I was the one who incited Albanians uh, into... Uh, into ethnically pure uh, Kosovo. Wow, because I guess I am I am Kosovo Albanian or something like this, and I had a big reason to do this. Whatever the reason, Serbs uh, interpreted uh, Serbs hype Roma Roma community throughout Yugoslavia that uh, Croats Slovenes. Everybody's, everybody is Nazi, they're, they're all Nazis, and the only homeland, the only place, safe place for them uh, was Serbia. And so the Roma community uh, in this circus they found themselves in, uh, you think I'm going to say, well, uh, they went to whatever the hand was given to them. You're wrong about it. The Roma community knew exactly what they have done to me personally. When it comes to Kosovo, Roma community since '77 was nothing but terror, beatings, torture. That's all it was. Slovenian police officers, investigators. I have a guy here, one house away from here. Uh, they went there to have fun. Uh, women entertainment but there was no fun there was no entertainment for me even that i tried also for me roma provided torture and they knew that what they were doing was wrong they knew they were completely wrong about it there was some roma who testified even that you know there was some ladies and stuff like this that all kinds of stuff that I found uh, interesting for myself and stuff like this, but this was not in the plan of Slobodan Milosevic. Slobodan Milosevic was a brother of... Slobodan Milosevic was a brother of... This goes Moscow of this guy here, Boris of Milosevic. Boris of Milosevic was sent to Moscow uh, to escort me to Moscow. He became like some kind of nanny of mine, this guy. Like in 19, 
Uh, he started to escort me to Moscow probably like in 1973, probably when I was like two years old, maybe even one year old. Yeah, and then sometimes in 1974, he permanently stayed in Moscow. Yeah, and Josip Brostito told me, this is your man in Moscow, I'm going to have him stay in Moscow. He always went with me to Moscow. So then he stayed in the Moscow, this guy. This is a brother of Slobodan Milosevic, who was extremely close to Josip Brostito. Josip Brostito totally selected him for the job. He was trusted by the Josip Broz Tito personally. Well, this is a brother of this guy here who became a little Hitler on the Balkans, war criminal, famous war criminal in the Balkan, a Serbian Chetnik Slobodan Milosevic. Not so much known to the Josip Broz Tito circles. I don't know why the fuck that would be. Um, his brother, Borisov, was hiding him. Uh, he was not this guy, Slobodan Milosevic, was not so much in the Josip Brosita circle. But here and there he would appear. Yeah? Uh, and uh, this uh, guy, uh, Borisov Milosevic, was the one who made him a uh, president of Yugoslavia, Serbia. This was what became the most famous war criminal of the Balkans, men who committed war crimes against Slovenes, against the Croats, against the Bosnians, and of course against the, more than anybody, more than against Bosnians and more than against the Croats, and it's not admitted, he committed war crimes against the Kosovo Albanians. Kosovo Albanians, which crimes against humanity, Serbs enforced already. Whew. Since 1970, they enforced killings and persecution of the Kosovo Albanians, which Serbs tried to ethnically cleanse uh, since 70s, maybe even late 60s. They went on to do the stuff, dirty stuff in Kosovo. Uh, so, because of what was about to take place, Milan Kuchan, Mr. Milan Kuchan, wanted to make sure that Milosevic would absolutely have everything possible, the espionage, the everything that would be possible to liberate uh, Kosovo from the Kosovo Albanians and hand one back to the Serbs. Uh, including, and that would not be possible since Yugoslavia had fallen apart. And what's really funny about it is Serbian killings, massacres on Kosovo I have spoken to you about became too fucking evident for this guy here. And he came under the spotlight. Now, he didn't want to know anything about it and it was really, really uncomfortable. He no longer could object to Slovenian departure from Yugoslavia. Literally because of my case. Literally because of what Slovenian police witnessed. Literally because of what Slovenian police became involved in. Kosovo Albanians, my friends from Kosovo, I'm certain, very, very, very certain, they do have some documents about my stay in Kosovo my being delivered to the Kosovo, my being seen by the Kosovo community. Stuff I'm talking about, I'm certain they have documents on this stuff. The Kosovo intelligence, all through extremely, I believe, unorganized. I'm certain they do have some documents about this stuff. Stuff I'm talking about. So this is, this was, this was a really hardcore accomplice of Slobodan Milosevic. Do you know that? This is the guy that should have stayed in Haag and be trial for war crimes against humanity. The second crime I want to discuss today is this stuff here. Honey, this stuff here, at pleasure of this individual here, uh, and what Vladimir Putin, Sergei Lavrov, 
uh, all the entire Russian Kremlin uh, used and is using now in uh, Ukraine by recently, just a few days ago, and it's something I was there about, if you're going to talk about, it was exactly Vladimir Putin who personally, with Vucic, with the Serbian president Aleksandar Vucic and other Chetniks, Slovenian side, Borut Pahor, apprentice of this guy is Borut Pahor, who did hit as much damage as Milan Kuchan, if not even more. This is the right hand of Milan Kuchan. Uh, insisted me that if I'm going to talk about, if I am going to oppose to the claims of the Serbs about the Albanians stealing their internal organs uh, on Kosovo, they claimed me, insisted me, threatened me, they will have my internal organs all destroyed. They will get me killed, is what they claim. Yeah, that's what I got from Kremlin, from the Russians, if I will ever dare to speak about these issues. Inside of this house, here in the city of the Novo Mist, in our home, and outside of our home. They dared me to talk about theft of internal organs in Kosovo, for which Serbs insist throughout the media, it's a Kosovars, Kosovo Albanians that did stealing, theft, uh, selling of uh, illicit trafficking of human organs and so on. Uh, this is what the news the Serbs used literally to cover up all the crimes against humanity they committed over at least three decades for what they were doing at least 30 years to Kosovo Albanians uh, they used exactly this kind of issue you know, theft of human organ trade to shadow absolutely everything and we compare the human organ trade uh, with crimes Serbs committed in Kosovo uh, you will realize it's not even 0.00001% of crimes which Serbs committed on Kosovo. Then you're going to see that the Serbs did everything they possibly could to shadow with lies, with all kinds of gimmicks, tricks, uh, international community, clusterfuck internet, through the media, through the fake media, and through the special channels that would assure them that these stories would pop up right at the top and cover the truth about, change the course of the story of the future uh, through a fake past. Yeah? Uh, I must tell you that Serbs and Russians managed to video record me with this individual here. Uh, his name is, uh, he's a French Kushner, uh, French Kushner Kosovo organ theft. Yeah, uh, you're gonna go here, French minister, Albania, Kosovo, this and that. Uh, by literally talking about the Prince Charles, talking about the Prince Andrew, now King Charles, meeting me prior to Kushner, uh, in with the Kushner, in with other politicians who insisted that there is something terrible the cause of Albanians have done, etc., etc., and don't know what to do, uh, and acting awkward. At like, the only way would be to just go out there and lie blatantly, lie, etc. But that would only be possible if I would go out there and convince him that he should just go and say something like that. And that everything was perfect with it, everything is okay. But this is the issue that is very bad. Uh, and that issue, however, that can be solved by my going out there, convince him, etc., etc., 
and so I was, I did go, that I told him to just disregard this fucking claim and say, oh no, there was no uh, uh, threat theft of the, of the human organs, internal organs from the Serbs and so on. Uh, then he goes out there, he makes a statement <laughs> like this. La vente des organes. Mais vous êtes malade, non? J'ai une tête à vendre des organes, moi. Mais vous êtes fou, vous croyez n'importe quoi. Serbs now get together with the Russians entire uh, file about it's probably either British or French that gave the proofs to the Vladimir Putin uh, who goes on and issued me even threats that if I would ever dare and so on and now have the authority to talk about the human theft, yellow house, Albanians theft, uh, stealing organs, internal organs from the Serbs, etc, 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 cluster fuck them one more time with the bombs like British did it, they bomb Albanians I think like in 99 or 2000 uh, to establish peace in the Kosovo finally uh, and that was the end of the war which Vladimir Putin used to his advantage and have thanks to this problems which British royals literally created in Kosovo in respect to human organ trade case yeah the British did not stop there British had American uh, his name is a Montgomery where is this guy theft internal Kosovo Montgomery Investigated. American investigated crimes. Not only Kushner, but American also was involved in this. And They established, he went on to, to, to investigate, this is funny shit, he went on to investigate Serbian crimes and then he stumbled upon horrific, horrific that uh, Kosovo Albanian theft of the, uh, of the, of the internal organs from the Serbian prisoners. Now, uh, it, it was at the KLA fighter in the farmhouse, etc., etc. Uh, now, listen. Uh, I am not saying that Kosovo Albanians have not done that. That's not what I... I don't dispute that they have not done something like this. I don't dispute this. Kosovo Albanians... Albanians in general do have a mafia throughout the Europe. I'm not disputing any of these claims. Just when compared to the Serbian crime, the Serbs committed, when it comes to the ethnic cleansing, compared to to theft of the internal organ of the uh, of the Serbian prisoners uh, that's like really 0.0000001% compared to the stuff they have done okay you can multiply theft of the human organs with uh, probably 100,000 to get the figures on the other side of what the Serbs have done to the Kosovo Albanians there is no comparison. There is a story, and this story is huge, and it covers the internet space, and it's Vladimir Putin who just abused this story to cause massacre. Again, another massacre, another mass killing in Ukraine, where corpses of Ukrainian soldiers were returned to Ukrainians with missing organs inside of the body. And in, uh, in fact, that taken place just a few days ago. So the stuff like this one here
like this guy after this American it was this guy that was this is a Swiss guy and there's all the people that this guy this Dick Marty from Switzerland uh, it was this guy who came to the rescue to the Serbs they started to hire literally in 99 and in 2000 British royals started to hire all kinds of international people that would come to the rescue and rescue at least portion of this Serbian extermination procedure against the Kosovo Albanians on Kosovo. And therefore, some kind of story, at least something, they would at least somewhat look as, in a human eyes, in the eyes of a human being, legitimate as a, as a human beings. The truth is that Serbs were beasts on the Kosovo. And I watched what they have done to the Kosovo people. Not only have I watched, now a mess of police investigators, police officers watched it. People from Ljubljana, when they went, interacted with the killers, with the Serbian murderers, and with the Roma community who did this stuff I have spoken about. They watched it. We watched this stuff about how they have done it. They killed entire families. Also in Macedonia, not only on Kosovo, but they also traveled to Macedonia where they killed, where they executed people. This kind of stuff, this kind of Dick Marty stuff, by the way, the guy disappeared. This individual was the one who insisted me that I'm also going to be the one who's going to have to disappear. Then he started the theory, then he turned the theory around that it's the Serbs that are coming after him and he's got problems absolutely everywhere. And if, in fact, if I would want to live, he was involved. He was involved in MK Ultra and insisted the, in fact, if I would want even to receive the medical assistance, that I don't know how the problematic this thing is. When you go to the hospital and they trace you everywhere and they make things very difficult for you. And it's all kinds of people that are involved. In fact, you will have to also file for a fake death certificate and disappear. This is how the Serbs believe one way or the other I'm just going to give up on my life uh, and you know what man uh, fact dates, fake death certificate is when you are worse than dead. Uh, this is basically where you are discredited, you disappear, you're gone of the picture and whatever you have gone through, whatever you managed to accomplish in your life, it's deleted. This is basically the way it works. Then you become a toy. And as a toy in their hands, they start to forge the history, if anybody would ever question again, again in their favor. With more, adding more and more and more lies. My life was nothing than a Russo-Serbian lie supported by the British, by the London foremost. And I think it's time to stop. I think the British structures, especially certain British structures with a special interest, especially, have caused enormous damage to the Eastern Europe. Damage which, in this case, since 1999 continues to hunt us down in the Eastern Europe. Throughout the Eastern Europe, it's this kind of damage today. In fact, Michael Montgomery, you see, 1999, Michael, Michael Montgomery, investigator, alleged organ trafficking in Kosovo, Korea, after the war, ultimately led to the establishment of a new war crime court etc etc there are all the people the British royals it was always looked like a coincidence always looked like a coincidence and then it's like it's a totally different story that develops out of it come on um, British did this stuff in 1999 today is 2024 it's 2024 now. This is what you have done. Ukraine internal organs Russia 
Russia returns bodies of defenders without internal organs three days ago. Four days ago, Russia returning Ukrainian POV bodies without blah 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 blah. But if you Google here Ukraine internal organs uh, theft, um, and you take time and you do the custom range, and you're gonna see that Russians worked on this issue all along, all along, uh, it seems just like Albanians, uh, Ukrainians were the, uh, literally a trained, trained, trained thieves uh, who did this stuff uh, to, 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 to absolutely everybody and foremost of course to the Russian prisoners, they were stealing the, the organs to the Russian prisoners. This is the stuff that it was Slobodan Milosevic who learned, maybe even from the Vladimir Putin, or it was Vladimir Putin who learned from the Slobodan Milosevic, I don't know which one of the two learned from whom, because I know what exactly I was accused about. I know about this Kushner they have used best to their abilities and this guy this guy Dick he was in our house and stuff like this you know whoever came in our house and was giving me his in and out about how he had to disappear and it's now the Serbs that are trying to get him and this and that you know, our house was a house of Milan Kuchin here in the city of the Novo Mesto. More than anybody, German, British, American governments knew. You know, this guy is from Switzerland. Kushner was from France. Uh, the other one was American, Montgomery, and so on. You know, don't, don't fucking, you know, you guys are taking too hard upon yourself. Uh, nobody's an idiot here. I understand what kind of house this is, what, what, whom you have served best your abilities. And it's time for the world to know that your shit, shit that you, you created in 99, Kremlin is still taking full advantage of. Today, Russian side continues to blame Russian, Ukrainian side for the war crimes they commit. It's not okay. You must take responsibility for something like this. Uh, it costs human lives. In my life, I lost 53 years because of you. And it's not the mistakes that you have made. You did whatever it fit your agenda best. Uh, but Eastern Europe no longer can take this shit. You caused the devastation throughout Chechnya, Tajikistan, entire Abkhazia, Ukraine, Bosnia, Croatia, Kosovo, you name it. And it's time for the people that are responsible for you to, you need to be held responsible for this stuff. You are involved in Srebrenica genocide. You caused tremendous evil, incredible stuff you caused. You you need to be responsible. You need to you need to be held responsible for this stuff. You know your past shit that you create is hunting us in 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 the case of the internal organs thefts already now for twenty five years. Just so that if you have doubts about. Who did what in respect to Kosovo? And who is doing it today? Why even? Why Vladimir Putin is doing this today in Ukraine? Yeah, I told you about what they demanded from me. How to turn myself to Kushner and what to ask Kushner. Yeah? Uh, 
British royals are not going to write the history anymore based on a forgery together with their Russian and Serbian colleagues. This stuff must stop. As for this individual here, this, this individual, both of these individuals, they need to go to Hawk, they need to go back to Hawk. These people were the very close accomplices of Slobodan Milosevic. These people were involved in war crimes on Balkans. They were using me for the war crimes on Balkans.